okay, the central limit theorem, you're going to go about it the same way you did uh, the prior chapter, but the only thing you're going to do is change the standard deviation, okay? The standard deviation for the sample mean is the standard deviation of the population, which is given in the problem, divided by the square root of the sample size, okay? So, <clears throat> the, <clears throat> so then you would take uh, 65, no, you would take 17 divided by the square root of 41 to get 2.655, okay? So in our problem here, it would be 17 divided by square root of 41, okay, to get the answer shown here, 2.655. Now all you do is <clears throat> use that and do just like we did before uh, in the prior chapter to get these answers. So if I randomly select one individual, now since the square root of 1 is 1, okay, because that's a sample size here, we're going to use the population standard deviation of 17 for this problem, all right? So we would just go ahead and use the norm dist like we did last, um, more function statistical norm dist, okay? And our x is 65.8, and our mean is 65, standard deviation 17, cumulative is always 1. So there's your answer for that, my dog. Violet, um, and then do the same thing for 68.6. Okay, do the same thing for 68.6. So you would go formulas, more functions, statistical, norm.dist, and 68.6 mean 65. Standard deviation, 17, cumulative 1. And then you could either run your calculator or, and I always encourage you in Excel, just let the Excel do the work for you. You subtract the higher minus the lower. So equals, in Excel you go equals this minus this. That way you don't have to retype anything and it's accurate. 0 0.0651, 0 0.0651. There's the answer right there. Okay. Now, for part D, for the 41 tires tested, so you do the same thing, except you have to use this standard deviation that you found up here for 41 for the sample size, okay? All right? So, so now you would do the same exact thing. So you would do, again, X is 65.8. Sixty five point eight mean same thing sixty five mean is always the same standard deviation now you use two point six five five all right cumulative is always one and then do the same thing for sixty eight point six formulas more function statistical norm dot dist again x sixty eight point six mean sixty five standard deviation 2.655, cumulative 1, and then subtract 1 from the other. So equals this minus this, 0.294. There's your answers. And uh, it is not necessary for, part, for it to be normal. Okay, hope that helps.